Kizei. Waita. Hello there, sorted food. Can I call you sorted for short or sort? Sort for short? I'm Craig Benzine, also known as Wheezy Waiter. I have this problem, well, more of a task, and I want you to solve it for me, or perform it. I'm allergic to nuts, not peanuts, all other nuts, and I've been in and out of hospitals. One instance of eating nuts on accident and going to the hospital. It was a lasagna with pesto on it. It was my first introduction to pesto. I didn't even know what pesto was. Pesto usually has pine nuts and it, this one did. What I would like for you guys to do is to help me take revenge. Could you please make a lasagna with pesto on it? I can't do it because I can't touch pesto. Don't eat it. Destroy it. Burn it up, please. A slightly different request to normal, but we will do exactly as Wizzy wants, a pesto lasagna. We're going to make a white sauce with butter, flour and milk, which we'll poach three types of fish in, and then we'll make the pesto itself, but not a basil leaf in sight. We're going to do ours with rocket, mm -hmm. parmesan, garlic and the deadly pine nuts. So let me get this straight, we're going to cook something and we're not going to eat it. We're, we're going to make something just to destroy it. I promise you it's going to be the best tasting lasagna you've ever had. We will eat it, we will enjoy it, it. Oh, okay. and then we'll destroy some for but You Wheezy. can't, Mr Wheezy. But first, a white sauce. So, butter into a pan. Since I've got two of you, I'm not gonna do anything in this recipe today. So, melt down our butter. As soon as that's melted, we're gonna add in our flour. This is a roux. We've all made roux before. Yep. We've got a skills video. Shows you how to make a roux. We have. Ben said he's not gonna do anything, so let's really try and make him do everything. Hold that for one second. <laughs> can you just keep stirring that for a second, Ben? Right. I can see how this has backfired already. <laughs> that is melted. Good, flour in. You can do that bit. There you go, well done. And mix it to a paste. Well, well done. done. Do you want to be any more patronising? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you have to add the milk in a bit at a time. We have been listening. But not too quickly, so that ruins it. Yeah. And what must you also remember before we add more milk? No the, lumps. The last lot is lump free and yes. it's all been combined. So a little at a time. And Mike, if you can go for salt and pepper from behind us, we'll season it at this stage. You can also put in something like a bay leaf or a studded onion into this for extra flavour, but we're going to make an amazing pesto, which can add so much flavour, we don't really need to worry about that. Last bit of milk. And then bring that up to a simmer, let it bubble gently for about two or three minutes. Keep an eye on it. While we do that, Mike, we're going to make the pesto. Okay. Pesto traditionally has lots of fresh basil, but we're going to use rocket instead. Okay. So pop that in there. Is it going to taste any different? Yes, very different, but the same principle. So it'll have the same texture, it'll look the same, but it's a very different flavour. It's like pepperiness. One clove of garlic, you just peel that. And for this, we want the juice of about half a lemon. Could you, if you wanted to, turn this into a fish pie? Yes, we're making a, a thick fishy sauce, but you can put that between pasta or put some uh, pastry on top or mashed yep. potato on top, so absolutely. I am intrigued how this is going to taste because a fishy lasagna, that doesn't just, it doesn't compute. It doesn't work, does it? I promise you it will work. Put Pine nuts, so, so they're going in, so these are the bits that would actually destroy... This is us doing all the work. Yeah. Wheezy. And then the parmesan. Yep. If you can just take that and just chop it into pieces, we want about that much. Uh, the machine's going to do most of the work, so just kind of rough chunks. Right. Traditionally, this would be done in a pestle mortar. Uh, in northern Italy, that's where pesto came from. We're going to use the machine, it takes all the fuss out of it. What we also need is a generous plug of olive oil. Is this enough? About 60 grams. Yep, that's looking good. Perfect. Lid on and blend that up to a paste that will be vibrant green because of the rocket. And if you think it's too thick, add a little bit more oil as it's going. Perfect. Have we got a louder machine? <laughs> look at that, look at that though. That is a lot greener than Try a that. standard pesto. Thank you. Well, only because it's fresh. A pesto that you put in a jar will lose its colour. Mmm, very nice. Smoked haddock, salmon and cod. Bought as a fish pie mix, they give you a little bit of each. But you can use whatever you want. That goes into our bubbling sauce. Do you like fish pie, Mike? Yeah. Now, <laughs> if you're like Mike and you don't like fish, or you're like Wheezy and you don't like nuts, and this isn't for you, then we have got another lasagna recipe. A regular old lasagna. So click there, and this Where? one there. there. So we've made our pesto. Now four tablespoons of this go in here. The fish kind of poaches in the heat of the sauce, and then all that's left to do is layer it between sheets of pasta. Lasagna, like that. We want pieces like that. Okay. okay. Because we're going to put it in our bowl, and we want it to be able to fit Chop in the bottom. Okay. Nice. Yes, Perfect. Okay, we're on a roll. And then Barry, you're yep. in charge of layering. So grab yourself a ladle, a little bit of that in the bottom, probably even less than that. Okay. Literally just enough just to go okay. the bottom before the first slice of pasta. And then we layer up our pasta. How many we want, you want at least three layers of pasta in this dish. Because that, when it absorbs with the sauce and cooks, that gives you the structure you need. 
and they just keep alternating layers of fishy sauce and pasta. Obviously, you can do these ones as individual lasagnas. You could do one big family size, mm. but what you've got here is enough to make about four portions. We're going to put two portions in here. The last layer should be our pasta, and then instead of the sauce, we finish the top layer with pesto, because I know Craig can't get enough of this stuff. The last few finishing touches, a few wafer-thin slices of cheese on top. Wafer-thin. Mm. If Craig ate this, would it make him wheeze? <laughs> that is how he got his name. He used to be a waiter. He used to wheeze every time anyone in the restaurant ordered nuts, and that is where he got his name from. There you go. What a load of bollocks. Is that true? I don't know. I seem to remember that as being the case, but I'm I not sure that's true. I think, that you know when you go to sense. sleep and uh, have a little adventure in your head, Ben? I think that's where you got the information from. And there we go. That goes into a hot oven, 200 degrees Celsius, for 15 minutes until it is golden brown on top, bubbling, and the pasta's cooked through. And that's it, bubbling and golden, oh. our pesto lasagna made for Wheezy. We are going to taste it before we destroy it, but for now, fish and pesto lasagna sorted. Portion it up. That is a big portion. Oh, it's a big oh, greasy club. Nice. Well done. Look at that. Dig in. There should be layers and layers that's of nice. pesto, pasta, and fish. Mmm. It is just like a fish pie, but with pasta instead of potato. The combo's awesome. Nice crisp salad with that. Mmm. And that is perfect summer munch. It's kind of a shame that Wheezy wants this destroyed because it is pretty damn good. Mmm. Well, for you, Craig. Craig. We're going to burn this. I'm not going to eat that. You can't do anything with that. It's as hard as a brick. I think that's that has been destroyed. He wanted us to destroy it. I'm gonna try it. Not a single trace of nut left. Maybe not. That oh, looks vile. It. There you go, Wheezy. Is that destroyed enough for you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> that feels good.